Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to play a little bit with these uh, HF uh, active antennas. Here we have one. This one is from uh, from China, from the famous websites. Uh, you pay about a uh, dollar per megahertz, so this one is about uh, 30 dollars, 30.35. And it are these active antennas. And uh, it was actually quite complete when it came. It has the cable to the antenna. It has the cable from the amplifier to the receiver. And here we have the amplifier. So, and uh, yeah, I just like to see how it compares to the one that are a little bit more professional. Uh, if they are... Uh, this also doesn't really have a brand, but this is from a professional store. And uh, yeah, bias T mini antenna. So we can see how those two uh, compare. And also we can play a little bit with, uh, with the receivers. Uh, this is uh, a NASA receiver. They are very popular, are sold under many other brands. But uh, if you look at it, you immediately recognize it. And this one, this one is really cool. And I'm gonna see if it still works. And uh, it is the ICOM R70. And uh, I always liked it because uh, my dad in the past uh, had one. Uh, but this is from my uncle. So yeah, from uh, Shores. And uh, it is here and I can play with it. So we're going to test a little bit uh, to test the antennas, but I can also test a little bit if the receiver still works. And uh, as a backup, I just have the NASA because that one uh, should be working. So uh, let's have a closer look at the antennas. Okay, th this is uh, the whole kit and it works actually quite, uh, it makes sense. No, it was just uh, a nice sticker, active antenna. It goes from 10 hertz up to 300 megahertz, and usually you need a lot of wire to do that. And uh, just for you not to get confused, they put the BNC for the antenna and the PL or VHF for uh, the go to your receiver. Uh, because these antennas are only for receiving. Um, so here, this one carries the signal from the antenna to the preamp and also carries the voltage to power because it's an active antenna and this is just a normal plug. Yeah and here I have, uh, well it's the box, it's the balloon of the one of those wire antennas. Well, I cannot put the wire outside so I just put it on my ceiling that of course I have not too much space so this will probably not be too efficient but uh, at least it works a bit. So instead of those uh, big wires uh, let's see if these uh, sticks work. I already uh, try a little bit because I also saw that you could buy these little circuits boards that, uh, that are of course a lot cheaper because you don't have the plastic pipe but I like to have also uh, the complete uh, antenna but you can just open it so and when I open it it is just those boards that you can buy also separately so it is just a very little antenna here is a plate you can see the copper and then it's just a huge huge huge, huge amplification but it seemed to work. I lose. I decided to uh, open it uh, completely. So let's do that. Let's, uh, okay, it's completely open. And uh, let's have a look. A little coil, some resistors, two transistors. Not too much. Now I wonder what is in the professional one. Okay, I managed to open it. It was a bit tricky uh, because uh, probably the professionals don't like too much to 
open it, but if I have a really quick look, it doesn't look that different because here you have the, well, if you say the antenna, here it goes through a little coil two resistors and the first transistor. And what we see here, this is the same through the coil first, but three sisters and the first transistor. It really, really looks alike. It's just that I used all their components. But in the end, look at this. Okay, let's uh, connect everything. Um, let's take a little bit of cable here. Goes to the antenna. Then we put it in the box. We need some grounding. Okay. And we need to connect the receiver. So let's do that. And it needs 12 volts in the positive in the center. So I have that here. And when we switch it on, oh, everything goes out. Now, oh. seems to be a, a short. This in the center. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look first. Okay, have a look. It says that the positive is in the inside, but it seems not because here it seems to be on the outside. So here this one is the minus, and it switches to the center pin so or these two need to be switched or the wires need to be switched so let's see how the switch uh, works it seems a simple switch but there is also a light so one of the sides probably is the light connected also okay that is solved it turned out that i just they really had the blue and the uh, no. The black and the red wire the other way around so it doesn't mean the device is bad it just means that the quality control just needs some extra attention and now it uh, just switches on and off so that is good uh, let's check with the receiver okay i uh, i have it connected i just put it in the in the window right there well you can't really see uh, but it's in the cup so we should receive something and Well, I actually found the station. They're doing Morse code in SSB. Well, I, I don't uh, read Morse code, but uh, it was going back and forth, back and forth. And now they just stopped.
Mm, they are very fast. But uh, I noticed that it's very important to have your ground wire because if you don't, you get a lot of extra distortion. But uh, we do receive something. Now I wonder if the other antenna is going to be really a lot better or it's just the same. Okay, now I put the other antenna. But I probably need to switch quickly because it does sound a little bit better, but I'm not 100% sure. The signal goes just, but it's also going back and forth. I have multiple stations. Sometimes it's hitting the seven. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Yes, I switched back again and now I don't see anything hitting the seven. It could be that the station is gone because I cannot hear the call signs. But uh, I will quickly switch back. Yeah, it's hitting five now, not seven. Yes, okay. Yeah, five, six, seven. Yeah, I, there is a slight, slight, slight difference, but uh, not not that much. So they are also are almost built the same. Um, now let's see what it does on the wire, just as a comparison. Well, the cable does work, but the way I have set up just by looping it in the ceiling, that is not the best solution. The, the, it, it receives a lot more distortion and, and I can hardly not hear the stations. So in that sense, these active antennas are, are cool. They are very with low distortion. I'm surprised. I found now just some commercial station and uh, the wire and the two antennas are just uh, performing exactly the same. But these stations have lots, lots of power. So that would not be a problem. But yeah, it's nice. So you have a very little antenna and uh, doesn't take too much space. You don't need long wires and it performs reasonable. I'm now checking both radios and I'm, I'm happy it works, this one, at least in these lower frequencies. And the funny thing is it even seems to work a lot better. Look at this. This, you can hear. You can hear there is a lot of noise, but even as someone yeah. is not to a team who's going to four trophies every Listen to this. I think sometimes it depends on your manager as well, Steve. I think there's a there's a feeling at last is I'm I'm going I'm going to improve as a player under Brendan. Wow, Rogers. this so icon sounds great. Really I found now another channel that is very very soft and. But the icon is just getting it just as good. And I can play a bit with the preamp. And cool. I have now another channel, 40 megahertz. But the icon just also gets it. So, and they are both running on the active antenna. So, that is cool. So, the, the antennas uh, and the receivers both match uh, very nice. So, I'm uh, actually uh, surprised. We did the test in the lower frequencies and in the mid high uh, HF uh, frequencies. And um, the, the one from a professional store or the one from China. They more or less uh, perform the same, and uh, and we could play a little bit with Icom. I li I like that. I need to clean it. Some of the buttons are uh, not responding that well, but most of all, it seems 
most of the option works, so that was just nice. Um, if I compare these uh, two active antennas with the poorly set up wire antenna I have here, these are a lot better, really a lot better. Less distortion they pick up, and it's maybe the filtering or the amplifiers are a lot better. So uh, if you don't have too much space and you cannot put a, a long wire antenna, because probably if I just put it very nicely straight down, and then it, it would of course perform a lot better. But if you cannot do that like, like I here, uh, these sticks are very nice but only for receiving so uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time